Fire. Welcome to the Guilty Ones. I'm an Educational Dead by Daylight player. He defeats Killers how to play Killer and Survivors how to play against Killer. You are just in time for our, poten our last match of the night, but it's not just any last match. This is potentially our 50th win in a row with the Blight. So I hope that you guys are able to stick on by for it and see us through either rejoice in my victory or console me in my defeat. We'll find out momentarily. But we did get a very quick first down on the cloud. Let's get some barbecue chili info and see where they're at. All of them are within 40 meters. Or aura blocks. Hard to say which. Tinker in the distance. Let's go back for that. ASAP. Let's hit Felix on the way. Might as well fatigue out on the hip. And hope the hell that there's only one person on this gen. There is only one person on the gen. But they must have cranked it out with a toolbox. Because that Tinker progress was insane. Let's go for her. Doesn't get that from Midbolt. Good news is we're still on a 2 to 1 ratio on hooks to the gens. Uh, 2 to 1 ratio to hooks to the gens is for every one gen we get two hooks. So let's get over here. Ruin goes out quick. That's unfortunate. We do see them healing over here. Let's try for that. ASAP. They're both behind the rock. Let's do a right hand flick. Let's go for Dwight Boy who has not been on hook. So we have, can avoid the DS. Our power should be up momentarily, so let's rush. Want to see if maybe you uh, go for the vault. He did not. We're on the LT wall, however, so this will be good for us. The vault, and a down. Excellent. We now need to utilize pop instead of ruin. So we're going to be very pop-focused for the most part. And let's see. Barbecue and Chili shows one person on gen there. Let's take and see how far well along that is. That's some decent progress, I will say. Two people on it. Probably approve thyself. Let's get the hit on Felix, and then let's go immediately back to it for the pop. Since we have another 22.5 seconds. Our power is up too, so we can actually potentially get this down. Which would be good. Got the down. Let's get the pop. Last mine. Good job. Let's get you up. So, blast mine either on Felix or on Yoon. We do see scratch marks on the LT wall. Let's rush for that. That is the Yoon based on the aura read. Yeah, there's no way for me to get around that. That tree is blocking me out. He's still on the pallet, however. She will get the drop, but she's on the outside of it, so that's fine. Let's break. We have a power immediately after. We'll rush for her. Good job using that tree as a blocker. Thankfully, I've cut her off, though, from any of the tiles. So we should be able to get a hit here at the very least. She will get the vault coming up, though. She does not go for it, however. She goes into the middle onto the T-wall. Let's pressure into the T-wall. Now pressure back into the L. She's holding her ground pretty well. Let's go for the tank. Claude and Felix are here, however. A second tank. Let's go for Felix. Since he's already been on hook once, let's get him out of the game. Looks like there's object obsession on Claudette, I just realized. Or is that you? No, that's you. Right. That's the mid fault. Let's down you. There's Felix here. That's red. And immediately try and go for the down. He'll go for the vault, just as Yoon did. There's two gens. This is a bit concerning now. All right, should be fine to walk this through. It's down him. Will he go for the Yoon pickup? There's Claudette. And there's you. This is problematic. They're working these gens really, really well. Claude's going for the pickup. We'll pick him up at this point. He's fully recovered. 
So it's better for me to do this now and get pop in hand and pressure these gens. There are three people off of gens, which is the good news, but the one person on a gen, that's the scary part. Let's go for Yoon, who's still over. There's a Tinker, like I said. One person on a gen, that's the scary thing. There's Dwight, let's pop. Thankfully, you, who's the injured one, has Object of Obsession, so every 30 seconds we see her. Let's go for the rush and try and get the down so we can get another pop. He's over by Shaq now. White's probably going to jump back on his gen, however. There's the vault. Let's bounce on rock. We'll shred, reducing resources. We're going to see Dwight's gen hit Tink again soon. There's the vault, there's the mid vault, and the down. Eight seconds off of that gen right there. Tinker on Dwight's gen, however. That gives me not too long to get to a hook. 16 seconds to be exact. Less than that, he's about to pop that. How? How do they pop that so quickly? Maybe prove thyself is in use? Only thing I can think of is prove thyself. Well, this is unfortunate. Let's go for the wipe. I'll get the hit. Where does he go? Into this tile, which is a pallet. Break it immediately. He'll go for the pallet. We'll box him out of this vault. However, there's a tinker in the distance, which if there's two people on that, we have only eight seconds to get there. Thankfully, there's only one. That's fine. We'll eat it. But we've lost our pop is the thing. We need to regress this manually while we're here. We froze ourselves. We swung too soon. So, here is the following problem. How do we pressure the gen about pop? It's now regressing one tick at a time. Thankfully, these gens are relatively close together. What they're going to try and do now is probably draw my attention away by using each other as bait. And then working on that gen. If they focus too hard on the gen, however, we can still make this work. Let's fatigue out. We'll hit the claw that. We'll get our power. Want a shack? Since she touched the gen now, we can get a hook and then immediately go for the pop thereafter. Thankfully, there's a hook right here that I can pretty much camp out. They're going to try and triple team this. And now I have no reason to leave for a little bit. This gen is currently the thing holding me here. No progress there. There's the unhook in progress. Felix. We see Dwight now. Let's down you. Dwight will go for the unhook. We'll replace her with uh, replace. Uh, her with Felix, but they have not yet, so let's go for the hook in basement. There's the unhook there. We'll slide. Hit here. We see someone on that gem. Let's go for this. That's Dwight. They're on this gen again. If that's Claudette who touched that, that means they lost DS. Let's pop this out of existence. Dodge. I was hoping that he's going to go for the vault. He did not. Yoon's right there. We do not know where Claudette is, however. That's the only quandary I have. Like, Mix has us up there. Claudette has healed. Actually, I did lose that chase. Looks like he's very keen on using that uh, locker. Ah! That won't work.
working that time. Let's put him on that hook, back on that gen. There's Tinkerer. Two people, that's one person. Thank God for that noise. Repressed Alliance? We can wait this out. There's the only gen that's a threat to me at this point in time. So we can wait out the full Repressed Alliance, no problem. That other gen over there has not gotten a lot of time on it. At least not anymore. We'll sit here and we'll pop this. Without issue. Unfortunately, let's give them time to heal Dwight. But that's okay. Come on, repress. There we go. We'll have to let this regress for a bit. You did not leave. Yeah, like I thought. And your object obsession gave you away. Which is excellent for me. <laughs> Cannot let this chase be long, though. Should've done that a bit sooner. He's on the L wall. He's holding corner, though. Look at the down. That'll be you dead. My next worry is that there's two people on that one gen that they were on earlier. That's 47 seconds on a two-person gen. Tinkerer? On which gen? The one back there? That's at their ASAP. White is right behind that uh, tree there. Give her power so we can rush him immediately. But Claudette just went for this shit. She went for the far gen too. So we're gonna go for the hit. We need to get this quick, quick down. There's a dead heart. Let's put you up on hook. And then let's go for that gen and just pop it for safety. If Dwight gets hatched, then that's okay. That still counts as a win in our book. Oh my god. This was an intense, intense, intense match, to say the least. This team played really, really efficiently, really, really well. And all it comes down to hatch, but honestly, Dwight, you can go for it, my friend. I do not mind one bit. This felt like a comp game, I'm not gonna lie. They were pressing Jen so hard. Yo, what's up, Ocean? How you doing today? You're just in time for us to get our 50th win on Blight in a row. Let's see if we can make it a 4K. All right, we see both exit gates. They're really good for us, actually. And let's see here. Can I get an angle on both? We don't need one because we see Dwight. Sorry, Dweep Boy, but I'm going to do my victory lap, and you're going to be the reward. Up to Daisy, and that will be a 4K to seal the deal. Holy hell, it has been one hell of a journey. To say the least. That's max sacrifice, that's max deviousness. Not sure about hunt and brutality. Yep, 50 in a row. And the majority of them have been 4Ks, actually. But GG, well played to these survivors. And that there, everyone, is 50 wins. My first killer to ever hit 50 wins in a row in Dead by Daylight. Holy hell. For those who have not been with us throughout this entire journey, our build has pretty much been the same through and through. Barbecue and Chili, Ruin, Pop, and Tinkerer. The combination of Barbecue and Tinkerer is just so good on Blight due to the fact that you're able to get from one side of the map to the other. Ruin just 
constantly regressing gen since you're going from hook the gen hook the gen hook the gen and all the while if ruin goes you still have pop and you saw in that game how powerful it can be in that late game so awesome awesome stuff honestly if you're looking for a good blight build this is probably the perk build to go with if i was using add-ons blighted crow blighted rat those would be my go-to well, that being said, GG, well played to the survivors.